All right, Coop, where are we going? School. What day is it? Tuesday. Normally I'm at BLT, but because Lane has a doctor. doctor's appointment, because Lane's doctor's appointment, I've got to take Cooper to school. I've got to take care of dad life stuff. Also got some other things that I'm going to take care of. I need to check a trail camera. Cooper, what do you have to say? I'm going to go to school today and I got no blue. Walking into this property. This is a property that I hunted last year. Shot my first ever buck off of. And the reason that I'm always reluctant to come in here, besides the normal like scent and you know, just stinking the place up, is because every time I come in here, no matter which place I where I park, I have to cross this creek. And you know, that's not like the worst thing ever, but when this thing's flooded and we've had over six inches of rain in the last month, but whenever this thing is flooded, it gets kind of hairy to cross. Um, there's times I have to put on hip waders just to get in. Turkey feather right there. Pretty cool stuff, but. I have to put on hip waders to get in sometimes, and it just gets dicey sometimes to get in, you know? Um, I've, I've muddied and left this place drenched before just because of how, how hard it is to get across here. And right now it's a little sketchy because I've got this GoPro, and uh, I don't have my waterproof case on it because I didn't have it. But. So I gotta be real careful. So I'm gonna get off here while I cross, and then, uh, yeah, I'll show you where my camera's set up. If you come across scrapes, I'll show you where to do it. sets up really strange because it has soybeans it's probably 100 acres and it's got most of it is, is, is ag land probably all of it maybe 20 acres of it 30 acres of it ag land the rest of it the, the last 20 to 30 is timber and it has a, a big creek that runs through it and it's hard to call it a creek because it's got crazy deep spots like a lot of people think oh creek good access but that's just not true. This place is hard to, to access. They say deer will pattern you uh, based on how you access a property. And so depending on the different wind directions, I have different access routes that I take to get into my spots or if it's morning or evening. So I tend to take the same way in every time, use the farmer, like the, the trails that the farmer uses, uh, messed around with a kayak this year and accessing using a kayak, but that's kind of difficult and I'll probably only use that a few times. So it's a nice property, it's got good deer on it. It's just a matter of being smart with, with what you got. So this property's never been fully hunted throughout a full season. So I'm back near one of my stand locations. I'm not gonna go over to it, but it is in this back corner over here and I can hunt it with a south wind and it's got creek access from the backside on that other, other, other ag field. So I don't have to step foot in here. I don't have to walk in from this way. I can literally walk on the other side of this creek, come down and come up and I end up right in my stand. I'm back in this part of the property I call the cul-de-sac. Got a trail camera set up right back here. And then up in this tree is the tree I actually shot my buck out of last year. Um, he was actually standing right over here about 30 yards. And then he ran to that field edge about 15 20 yards and fell over so clean ethical kill good setup if i set it up as an ob a observation stand last year and 
it ended up being a lot more than that and ended up being productive so i reset it up this year and we'll see how it goes i've got a scrape back here what i believe is the start of a scrape I've got 881 pictures i assume a lot of that's grass or this limb right here but hopefully there's some bucks on there. It is actually the next day um, after I got out and went and checked those trail cameras. I figured I would just wrap that the, wrap this vlog up with just showing you what I found on camera. This is this is the the perfect male specimen buck, symmetrical mainframe ten uh, tripod buck. Last year he had palmation right here, and it looked like a tripod. It was kind of cool. Deer is is a deer I call tank. And it's because he, he looks like a tank, but he is just a monster mainframe nine. He's got three on this side, or four on this side, five on this side, and then he's got a little flyer or kicker off of his uh, main beam. But he is just a, a giant buck. You can see that kicker right here, um, who I'm really excited about the opportunity to hunt. This has been a lot more outdoor focused, but that's kind of my point, um, is the blend between my outdoor life, what I like to do with my hobby, hunting, um, my family, as well as my job, which is youth ministry. So I hope you enjoyed it. I look forward to you watching the next one.